And this way, you yourself will see you playing as if it's not you who is playing. Because when you play, you cannot judge, or you play or you judge it. Right? Therefore, even advanced people cannot do it. It's not advisable. Therefore, if you record yourself, your practice of improvisation, I don't know, twice a week, and you record that, and then, then we watch it together, then I can comment you. Why is this here? You could play this other way, or you yourself learn how you can improve your play by the second, because because you can now you can really see you outside. When we are inside the thing playing, then we cannot really differentiate. There, this is this is not a good idea because all, actually you then if you do that you will block your playing. And to not block your plane, uh, because you need to flow, there is two aspects. One, which has nothing to do with analytical stuff, and that, that is the playing thing. When you play what you, have, what you can play, 
improvising. And then you record that and then you, you analyze it and you will see this phrase I like, this phrase I don't like much. This one I, I like better. I could play better this other thing there. And you, you feel it. Then the next time you, you do that, you will grow. Next time you play really much better because of this analysis. So this is the function of, of this uh, analytical. And I am also like a mirror for you because I, I also watch the video with you and, and will tell you my point of view of the thing, but my idea is to not to tell you what to do, but that you learn readily how to work on your own, Means, meaning that you understand more about you. After all, this improvising thing, this is the only way that you can play you. Any other thing you play, you are playing notes made by others, which is pirating, which is not you. Pirate repeat things. It hears, but you can you can actually play what comes from your soul and from your heart there if you study properly. Un ejemplo lo que descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando y qué armonía está en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, sí, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular la música del pueblo andalucí pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música 